Weinerman, and this is your Fast Money Trade School. Feel like you're getting lost at sea in the stock market? One tip to find your way, follow the whales, Wall Street's most powerful investors. These heavy hitters have to disclose their biggest holdings. Just check out a 13F form filed quarterly to see what Buffett or Icon have been buying. But before you dive in head first, remember, even whales can get beached. Class dismissed. Street while watching. Hello, I'm Brian McKeon, partner at the JMB FOP. Today we'll be reviewing number 50 in my list of the 100 top traders. Now today we'll be looking at QBT Financial. Now using this strategy has done so well for me. It's put me in the top 3% in the most recent CNBC tournament with returns of over 53%. And you can also see how it's done for me in previous tournaments. Now what we merely do is follow the holdings of the richest, most successful investors out there and we find their plays on these free websites. Then get an average analyst ranking through these free websites. Now again, I'd like to remind you all analyst recommendations are as of February the 5th, 2010. Now looking at the holdings of QVT Financial that you can find on Stockpicker, you can see that they have ETR, AHL, COP, HEK, and Microsoft all coming in as moderate buys. And also you can see the holdings in that portfolio, they come in as a hold and a sell at this time. Now looking at the charts, uh, QRT or Entergy, you can see that uh, it had quite a bit of sell off and you're starting to come up on a golden cross heading downward. So that's a pretty bearish sign for this one. Uh, Stochastics is, was in the oversold range and kind of doing a head fake towards the downside. So I would look for more downside on this one. As for AHL, or uh, what is it, Aspen Insurance Holdings, uh, this one's kind of moving sideways. Um, it's sitting good uh, in a trading range between its 40 and 20 day moving averages in a nice steady range moving sideways. Uh, Stochastics is in the mid of the range and is headed lower, so I'd look for this one merely to trade sideways for now. As for ConocoPhillips, you've seen quite a fall off on this one. Um, Stochastics is getting into the oversold level, so expect a bounce sometime in the future. But if it was to bounce, I wouldn't look for much upside because you have the 200 day here, and then you also have all these other moving averages moving towards the downside. So I'd say look for a short term bounce, but nothing more. As for, uh, what is it, Hankerman, uh, this one's also too is um, starting to come into a bit of consolidation period with all of its moving average kind of moving into a closer range and starting to consolidate. So I'd look for this one to move sideways. As Stochastics comes into the oversold level and starts to bounce, I just look for this one to continue sideways. As for Microsoft, you've had quite a sell off of late and balance of power got firmly into the red at this time. And it, now that it's firmly um, sitting under its 100 day, Look for this one to have some trouble getting over that. Stochastics is moving down towards the oversold level, so I could expect a bit of a bounce, but I wouldn't see much more over the 100 day moving average. Also, you can see that all the other shorter term moving averages are moving into that level too, so I'd look for this one just to move sideways for now. So, in review, the moderate buys are ETR, AHL, COP, HEK, and Microsoft all as moderate buys and there are no strong buys at this time. So I'd like to remind you that all analyst recommendations are as of February the 5th, 2010. And if you'd like a more up-to-date look at the holdings of QVT Financial, you can find them on Stock Picker. Then get an average analyst ranking through these free websites. And on to my disclaimer. Disclaimer, I am not a licensed investment advisor and the investments I am showing you today are what I'm doing for my friends and family's accounts. And I am not affiliated with any of the websites used to determine these rankings. And I currently own none of the stocks discussed today. So again, this is Brian McKeon from the JMB FLP. And thank you and see you next time for I'm a Well Watcher. Hello, I'm Brian McKeon. 
Tim, creator of the Predatory Lender. Now, if the previous was a little too boring for you, try joining the Predatory Lending Team as they go on their intergalactic adventures trying to hunt down the next great investment opportunity for you.